The number of homeless people due to shack fires from December 2012 to the 8th of January this year alone is near 5,200. The problem is a growing concern for all of those who live in informal settlements. David Khrie, who is the co-inventor of the Ajuga, explains how the situation inspired their latest design. The reason why we designed this was, you know, the plight of, of shack fires in the Western Cape. It's sort of the epicenter of fire, I think, in the country. And we try to find a solution. We mainly deal with children, and we've been seeing so many children coming burnt over the last couple of years. So we thought, how can we find the solution to this? And the only way is to go to the source where the fires happen, and that's in the informal settlements. Out of this concern, the Ajuga was born. The project was meant to install fire-resistant structures for creches and in the community. Members of the police, firemen and the general public lined up to watch the controlled fire set to light in the Ajuga crest structure. You can see the back of the board. You can touch it with your hand. This demonstration was meant to show how effective and durable the structure is against fires. We're going to make a massive fire on the inside of this crash and burn it and to show that these crashes do not burn out, you know, that it will contain the fire. And obviously if the fire would come from the side or from the outside, that the people inside, you know, will save, be safe and that it won't burn out. Tipla got involved with this project because we were previously involved with Sipla Miles for Smiles. And what we did in Sipla Miles for Smiles, we did corrective surgery for children with cleft lip and cleft palate. And what happened was in the seven years that we did that, we saw a lot of kids coming through as well that were severely burnt in shack fires. So there's roughly about nine kids per day that... Juga is an effective solution for the problem of shack fires in informal settlements and will save many lives. The long-term issue of housing conditions in informal settlements will need to be addressed. Rahima Jumat for CTV News, Stellenbosch.